Okay, this is Let's Play Zombie Trailer Park. I am Cross Knights, and I am now doing the first stage. Buying a salvage yard immediately, because this game is all about buying the salvage yards as fast as you can so you have enough resources to defend yourself and fight back. Uh, some people have been saying this game is a little bit rough, and it's definitely pretty rough later on, but hopefully after watching this you can see how I did it and perhaps beat it yourself if you've been having trouble. So right now I got a little militia of shovelmen, who are your basic units. And they're pretty weak by themselves. If you just make one of them, they'll probably take out one zombie and then buy, die by the next one, but they're very effective if you make a whole bunch of them in a small group. As you can see right now, they're just laying waste to any zombie that comes next to them. So they're good for taking out uh, regular units and being meat shields, and they're kind of the mainstay of your army. Uh, the second building that you want to concern yourself is with the trailers. The trailers increase the amount of units you can take. You see, before I could only make five, now I can make ten. And different units take different amounts of, uh, I don't know what you call that, unit points or something? The shovelmen only take one, so I can actually make ten of them, which I've just done. Uh, well, let's just defend this here. Yeah, very effective when they're clumped together. There's some stronger zombies that can take out shovelmen really easily, but when you're just dealing with basic, it's all about the shovelmen. There we go, we got a little jumper zombie, which I just took out. Even the jumpers aren't too bad if you have enough shovelmen, but they can sometimes jump over your little militia and then go right to your trailer, so that's not good. But now we're directly attacking the enemy's base. And we've just been taken out. Now the same thing with Shovelmen applies to basic zombies. They're all in a little clump right now, so they're actually pretty effective. And they're gonna slaughter this poor man that's haplessly walking up. Oh, oh, yeah. See, you hardly even hit him. But anyway, I've now bought a farmhouse, which unlocks a new type of unit. And that is a farmer that shoots people, so it's the ranged unit. unit. It's it's a good thing, it's just, it's four times more expensive than the, than the Shovelmen, so I'm gonna hold off on making too many of them yet, because there's still some important buildings that I need to buy. Keep with some more Shovelmen right now. The next most important building that I need to buy is the garage, because that will give us our most powerful unit in the game, pretty much. And the other thing to note is that each time you kill zombies, you get yeehaw points, which are up in the center of the screen right now. And once you get enough of those, you'll unlock the ability to use a yeehaw power. Now, on the first stage, you only have access to one, but later on you'll get two more. Jumper zombies just jumping right into the crowd over there. Alright, I just need to fend them off long enough so that I can buy the garage. So there we go. There we go. That should that should do it. Provided I don't fight any like provided they don't send one of the stronger zombies out, this should uh this should keep me safe for a little bit. I need one thousand five hundred. Alright, there we go. Well no, that's the moonshine. There's also the you can make bombers. I I don't really like them. I'm really all about the survivalists. So I've got the garage. I can now make survivalists once I have nine hundred dollars. And you've just seen my first yeehaw power, which is Angry Mob, which makes a whole bunch of shovelmen and a bunch of farmers for free. So it's a good battle. But now here we go, the survivalists. These guys very powerful and they can pretty much chew up regular zombies without any problem. And even the jumper zombies, if there's not too many of them, they can take them out. There's really only two types of zombies that they have problems with, and there's only four types of zombies in the game. Uh, but even that, there we go. The Abomination. Those guys are your nightmare. They will mess you up, they can destroy your survivalists pretty easily. Alright, more angry mob. But right now, I'm in a good situation. I have a farmer and a survivalist, and they're able to pretty much pin down the opposition. And with my angry mob power, I've sent even more farmers, and now I have another survivalist. So, this stage is 
pretty close to being over now. There's not too much the enemy could do besides send a whole bunch of abominations at me, and that's not going to happen in the first day. So I might as well just... Uh, Alright, well, they got one survival. Just sent in some guys just in case, but I think these guys have it. Yeah, they, they can't. They can't even get close to me. Alright, it's all over now. Alright, there you have it. It's a lot better than the first time I played this. But alright, uh, that's the first stage. It uh, only gets harder from here out, so next time, stage two. A kick in the dead.